Here we have a couple of outstanding Gobi Desert Agate Paleo Story Stone effigies from Mongolia. Uh, the uh, Gobi Desert Agate is very beautiful agate. A lot of banding usually with Gobi Desert Agate. And the Paleo Indians were very fond of that material for making their effigy offerings. What we have here, and I'll do a separate video on this one because it really deserves it, is a paleo biface made out of just the most beautiful agate on the planet. Uh, here is the eye that's been slit and the nose and mouth of the face facing off to the right. That's the young face right there facing off to the right. And then we have the exaggerated eye of the old face with the nose, the mouth, and maybe a beard down here. Now facing off to the left. Just outstanding. And this is a paleo biface. This has been worked all the way around as a paleo biface. May have been a knife at one time, a backed knife. Very similar to a rhyolite knife I found recently at Jasper Hill. But of course, this is Gobi Desert Agate and just beautifully translucent material. Just really nice. Just really nice, colorful, beautiful agate. And the mammoth imagery on this is excellent as well. Now we have an exaggerated eye here of a face facing off to the right and another face now facing off to the left with an elaborate hairdo up above. Just fantastic agate material, fantastic workmanship all the way around. And we'll do a separate video on that just a bit later. This one is a very, very, very nice mammoth effigy here. Again, out of Gobi Desert Agate from Mongolia. And this is the eye of the baby mammoth here with its little trunk right here. And then its hair tufted up above the head. So we have a, a, an excellent, excellent mammoth image now facing left. And this whole edge has been flaked. That whole edge has been flaked in paleo times. This edge is natural. So, uh, and this edge here has some crushing that was done right here. But uh, that part was natural up towards the top there. But that's a, a baby mammoth, a great baby mammoth, by the way, now facing off to the left. When we turn it over, now we have a really outstanding mature mammoth now facing right. Again, this is the eye, the hair tuft, and the big droopy trunk coming off uh, to the right. And we have the back legs and the front legs. It's all been done. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful translucent agate. They use, the Paleo Indians use the best material. And they had the best material at their convenience. And this is a very nicely worked piece. And a great, again, a, a, just a fantastic face. Uh, I mean, a, a fantastic mammoth. And then we have an eye of a face, a nose, and a mouth looking up from the back of the mammoth. And when we turn it over here, that, that's another great, that, the banding on this is just beautiful banding. There's no water or oil on this piece. Now we have another beautiful mammoth here with the eye up here and the trunk down here with the hair tucked above the head facing off to the right. And we have an eye right here with a nose and a mouth looking up from the back of the mammoth there. Right here, the eye, nose, and mouth below looking up from the back of the mammoth. And when we turn it this way, we now have another uh, mature mammoth now facing off to the left. Just a fantastic specimen. Just made out of beautiful translucent Gobi Desert Agate. A really good example there. Now we have a big face with the eye here, the nose and the mouth down here facing off to the left. Great face image right there facing off to the left. And then we have just another 
really outstanding piece here. This is a large piece, but it's completely translucent. This is a large, heavy piece of Gobi Desert Agate. And what we have is a, uh, a really good, I'm going to show you this first because this is the uh, baby mammoth now facing right. So this is its little trunk here, its hair tuft here. And uh, its eye is right here. We have a great mammoth now facing right. And then we have the mature mammoth now facing left with this, the hair tuft up here and the trunk sweeping down here and the eye right here. Excellent mammoth image there. This side here has been worked, flaked in ancient times. That's natural. That's natural. That's been flaked from here to here. So it's, a, it's just another fabulous mammoth effigy made out of Gobi Desert Agate from uh, Mongolia. And those are the three specimens that I wanted to share with you this morning. Here's another big eye of the mammoth, its hair tuft, its trunk coming down here. We turn it over this way. Now we have the baby mammoth with its trunk coming off to the left. Just some really fantastic Gobi Desert Agus, Agate Paleo Story Stone Effigies from Mongolia.